Welcome to the world of Roman roads, where engineering meets empire building in a way that has fascinated history lovers for centuries. Romans built over 250,000 miles of roads, stretching from Britannia in the west to the far reaches of Asia Minor. But how did they construct these roads? A blend of skilled labor, clever design, and durable materials made them last millennia. Let's start from the ground up. Roman roads typically began with a layer of sand providing a sturdy foundation. On top of this sand, they laid stones tightly fitted together, forging a surface both smooth and resilient to weather. These stones interlocked over cemented layers, designed ingeniously to drain water and prevent erosion. Visualize a cross-section showing sand, gravel, and paving stones layered meticulously as if in an architectural blueprint. Roman roads were not just pathways, they were avenues for trade, conquest, and culture, effectively shrinking the vast empire. A scene shifts to a bustling Roman marketplace, brought to life by the goods that traveled these roads from distant lands. But roads needed engineering solutions, like hollow blocks called spinae, to ensure effective drainage. Then, mileposts were strategically positioned, serving dual purposes distancing, and directional aids across the empire. Moving to bridges, many Roman roads extended over rivers thanks to robust arch-supported bridges. These bridges often featured stunning carvings and stood as marvels of Roman engineering ingenuity and artistic expression. As we wander further, notice the remnants of the famed Appian Way still maintained today, hinting at their timeless design. From roads to aqueducts, Roman infrastructure wasn't just about mobility. It connected hearts, minds, and cultures across continents. 